Hey guys, it's Heather. Today we're doing the Timu metal detectors and the vacuum cleaners. I think we got two and two. Two vacuums, two metal detectors. That's it, that's all I got. Let's get into it. I got a lot going on. I got a lot of review. I got this, I got a, that to review. I got this, I got that. This room is a friggin' mess. It's a mess. I started putting the vacuum together. You guys, I started putting this vacuum together. I feel like you need to be part of the assembly. So this thing came out just like this. I purposely bought a corded one. Some of the reviews I had seen on Timu is that um, it's hard to take apart to empty it. Like, oh, I could see that that would like stop me from wanting to use it. Like. One, you know, like these really inexpensive one, this compartment here is pretty small, so it's gonna fill up pretty quick, especially if you have dogs and cats. Um, so if you're not able to empty it easy, like, like that's kind of a pain. But this one, it's not that hard. Look at this, look, 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 are you looking? Look, don't look away. What? What? And then, so inside here is a HEPA filter. Or they're, they're calling it a HEPA filter. I don't know if it if it is one. But you see that little guy in there? It comes with an, a spare. Now, where do you buy these extra filters? I don't know. You able to rinse them off? Maybe dry them? I don't know. Maybe. What if I want more filters? Like, where do I get these? Right? Um, so it goes in real easy. You guys saw that. It just twists right in. This thing twists right in. Um... It does twist right in. Hold on. Don't judge me. There we go. You just gotta line it up. I didn't line it up. And then you just give it a little, little tiny turn, little click, you're good to go. Then there's another filter right here. Pew pew. Um, little turn, just like a little. And then you got this little air filter, I guess. You, I don't know. See, and take it out, wash it. I do a deep clean of my vacuums um, at least once a year, usually twice a year. I disassemble the whole thing. I clean the, the tubes, the, I deep, I scrub it so good. Then I stick it outside in the sun, let it, let it dry. But this, this part of the vacuum, like this part feels nice and heavy. There's really nothing that feels like super cheap about it. Um, the only thing that does feel cheap are these. These feel really, really flimsy. Like if you catch me on a bad day, I could snap this thing in half. Should I do it? No, I'm not gonna do it. I feel like I could. Like if you got, if you get me mad, I would snap this thing like a twig. I feel like it might be a little bit harder than that, but um, you can kind of see like it's not real thick. You just connect the two together, right? Boom, there you go. You can either put both of these on or one of them or none of them and then just put your attachments right to it like if you're doing your car. It comes with a, um, a couple of different attachments. So it has this, which I really like this. It has like um, a little squeegee right here. So as you're going over it, it's not gonna like shoot it out the back. You, if you know, you know. Um, and then it has this little thing here. Look at that, look, look. You see it right here? Do you see the magic happen? Ooh, ooh. So you can click that down if you want to have that little brush. Or, oh, like that. It doesn't feel like super, super great quality. These tubes are the only thing that feel like really, really cheap. This is like, okay. Um, and then you can have this little tiny attachment, whether you want to put it on the on the end of that long one or it'll go right on here for like, like I said, the car. And then it has this little attachment. Then you can click out that little. Is that all you do? No. Wait, 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 wait. I guess you can have it like this or is that it? I think that's it. Yeah, I guess that's it. And then you like edging and stuff. It's kind of cool. And then it also comes 
with, what is this? What is, what is it? What is it? Oh, so you can attach that to your, oh, and then it'll hold, um, it'll hold the little guy on to your little thingy. I think this is a wall mount and it comes with three um, screws and then three um, like wall anchor things like uh, sheetrock screws or whatever the technical term is. Where, how does that, where do you hook it on? Oh yeah, 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 okay, 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 I got it, I got it. Right there. So you're gonna wanna make sure that's in a stud. Ooh, and then that'll, you can just hang it right on the wall. Kinda like that. That's cool. Ooh. <laughs> Boom, just like that, we're ready to rock and roll. Super, super easy assembly, guys. Like, if I can do it, you're good. You're, you're good. You got it. We're going to check all surfaces and see how well they perform with our little Timu vacuum. Okay, so let's try it on this rug that I that is right under, like, where I sit, where I normally film. So let's try it, and then we'll try it on the hardwood floors. Just this little area that I did like right here, like just this little area, it did pick up quite a bit. But anyway, this rolling cart I did have right here. So look at all that junk underneath it. But one thing I've noticed already, I was only running, it was only running for a couple of minutes. Um, this started to get hot. I mean, not overly, but it, it did start to get warm pretty quick. I am actually concerned on how hot this is getting. I like this thing, but this thing is getting hot. I've only had it on for two minutes over on that rug and then about a minute right here. And this thing is, it's still comfortable. I can still hang on to it, but it's getting very warm. I'll have, I'll test that out. I'll turn it on for five minutes and then we'll see. Okay, so let's talk about this really quick. Um, this actually concerns me just a little bit. I didn't get to five minutes because it started to get so warm that um, holding on to it, you're gonna feel it. It's not so uncomfortable that you need to let go, like, ooh, that's burning. But right here, if this is like, you got all of the air blowing out, like that's how it cools itself. I just put a finger on it while it was running. And when it started to feel warm, I had to move my finger off because it became very uncomfortable. Not that it was like gonna burn my skin off or anything, but enough for me to like, ooh, that's warm. Just wanna double check inside to make sure there isn't something that I forgot to remove, like something's blocking the airflow. I mean, the air was blowing out, it looks fine. It's very warm in here, like very warm. So that part kind of concerns me a little bit. I don't think it should get that warm. I don't know, what do you guys think? Let me know, I'd really love to hear your feedback on that. Do I have a defective one? Maybe, um, you know, they do have a good return policy. So just be mindful of that when you get it, put it together, try it out. Does yours get really warm? If it does, pack it back up and send it back and maybe try a different one. Um, but otherwise, um, my overall review on this, I recommend it. This is, I want, I don't remember exactly what I paid for it. Again, it's down in the description. It, it's somewhere between like 48 and $68, somewhere in there. I can't remember which one I landed on. If I had to guess, I wanna say it was about 50 bucks. Um, is it worth 50 bucks? I'd say absolutely it's worth 50 bucks. So anyway, that's my review on this. Um, I'm just a little worried about how warm it's get, it does get. Now, okay, so I spent a lot of time looking at all of their vacuums um, and why they range in price so much. Pay attention to the, the, the it's the suction power. I wanna say 600 watt is like the lower end. That's what this one is. Um, so 
if you're if you find one that is like a hundred and fifty dollars because Timu does have those higher price vacuums it doesn't mean it's a like higher suction of a vacuum pay attention to the wattage like maybe what you're getting with that hundred and fifty dollar one maybe this stuff is better quality i don't know because i try to pay attention to the description um, when i was trying to decide which vacuum to purchase um that well i'm like well why is this one a hundred dollars more it looks very similar and they're both the same wattage so or strength or whatever the term was they were both the same so i didn't know like well, where's that extra money? Like, why are you spending an extra $100 on that one? So maybe I need to pick up that one too and try to figure out a low-end vacuum from Timu versus a high-end vacuum from Timu. And does it really matter? Um, so let me know if you've picked up a vacuum from Timu. Um, was it worth it? But anyway, let me go grab my, um, my, my, my other one and we can talk about it. So then there's this one. So this thing is claiming that it cleans, like sterilizes with like a UV light, I believe. Dehumidification. Dehumidification. How does it, what? Mite removal. Ooh. An aspirating hair. Huh. Okay, so this one we have to charge. It's got some nice little, like if you've got like some, uh, a lot of pillowing, um, is that a, is, is that a technical word? Pillowing. What, what is billowing? Am I thinking billowing? Like when it, when your mattress, you know, has got all the little, stop. I don't know all the words. I should at least know some of them, right? All right, maybe we should read the instructions. <laughs> Flapping hammer. What? So it says this is the hand shank. On and. It comes pre charged. It, com it, it, uh, it comes pre charged. That gave me a mini heart attack. Like my heart's racing right now. Anyway, um, dust cup. So then we got a contact roller and a flapping hammer. I don't know what that does. So that's your light right here. That's like your UV light. So that's what's claiming to like sterilize and clean. So how do you, how do, well, there's really no way for us to test it to see, okay, let's see if it's sterilized. Like let's, let's swab it. Like, I don't have anything like that. That'd be really cool though. How do we do that? I guess I'd have to look that up. Maybe I'll try and look that information up and maybe I can like pop something up on the screen or something for you guys on how to, what what strength of UV is strong enough to claim that it's sterilizing something. It should tell you like the strength of the UV, right? It does say on here not to use it with like cleaners or like any kind of like liquid or anything like that. It just says UV-C ultraviolet sterilization and mite removal. Okay, so rated power, it's 68 watts. I want to say that's like the suction power of it. I don't know. I guess we're just going to have to assume that the UV light is sterilizing it. So I don't know how to, how to determine it. If that's a lie or not. Okay, can I show you? Come on, bring it down a little bit. So you see that little red light right there? So that's saying that it's not fully charged, so it's charging. And I guess when it reaches full charge, that light turns off. So we'll leave that right here. Hope it doesn't malfunction and burn my house down. <laughs> That'd be bad. <sighs> All right, let's get to it. Okay, so we're in a different room, so we got different lighting and... But anyway, so let's try this. I have the bed right here, and I'm just going to flip you over here, and we're going to see how dirty my mattress is and how well this little guy works. Okay. 
Okay, let's try this. You're probably going to see a lot of dog hair, but um, you just need to ignore that. We're going to pull. My mattresses are really old, so I have like all these pillow tops. So you're probably wondering, like, what's with all the layers, Heather? Oh, well, that's not dog hair. Oh, yeah, these mattresses are so old. Oh, my gosh. I need to get new mattresses. I had a queen size up here in the spare bedroom and then my husband and I we have a, a king size any recommendations for a nice mattress let me know I'd love to get I'd love to pick up a new mattress holy buckets okay so let's try this this thing oh I'm gonna take this little sticker off but let's just give this a try again we've got like the the UV light and I don't know what these things are gonna do do they move when we turn them on? I don't think they do. No, they don't really, they don't do anything, so. I thought they would, might move, but. So this thing, um, I don't recommend this. I'm not impressed by it, not even a little bit. I just, I don't get it. Um, one thing that I really don't like, even if the thing did work, the UV light is just like this little piece right here. It's not like a, I kind of feel like maybe it should have like little UV lights all over. But anyway, I wouldn't really waste your money on this. There's, there's very little suction power to this. So in order to get dust mites, which you would kind of think, are, are they like hanging on? I have no idea. I know they're really tiny, but um, like everyone has them. And they're not, they're not, they're not like bed, bed bugs, you know, like those are something different. Dust mites just kind of feed off of our dead skin cells, right? Like that's what my little uneducated brain knows about them. Um, so this thing won't even, it, it won't, there's nothing. I've even put things like in its like right in front of it to see if it'll vacuum it up and it doesn't. I just don't think like the suction power is there. I really don't understand what these do. They're really not, they, this thing just really doesn't make sense. I like the idea of it. Um, I do have my eye on one um, on Amazon. I haven't purchased it yet, but it is one that I've, um, that I have been looking at and I'm um, reading reviews on. So I'll link that one in the description if you are interested in getting one that's not a Timu one because I, go ahead and get one of these. You can always return it, right? They have a Timu does have a good return policy. So maybe you would have better luck with this. I did not. I didn't care for it. Um, so I think I might look into the Amazon one. Yeah, so that's my little tidbit on that. Um, let me know what you guys think. Have you purchased one of these vacuum, um, these mattress vacuums? Did you have any luck with it? I sure didn't. I know a lot of people like to step up to the bat for Timu and they say, well, you probably have a defective one. And I may, I may have a defective one. You know, Timu does have some great electronics and some of them are not so great. I think this one is not so great. Um, but you guys, I will leave the link to this one in my description of the one that I actually, you know, this one that I bought. If you wanted to pick this up and try it yourself, or you want to avoid this one and try a different one. Um, so yeah, that's what I got to say about this. That, that's it. Okay, so to um, basically to compare these two, this is the one that we had. I don't even know what, how long we've had this thing. We've had it for a little while, um, but my husband took it apart. He was trying to see if he could get it working again so I could compare the two, but he, we're unable to get that working. But when you put the two together, that's the Timo one. This is the, obviously from Radio Shack. Um, this one's longer than the Timo one. And then weight wise, I would say the Timu one is half the weight. Um, it's a lot lighter. This is metal, this is plastic. So 
you don't you know i don't have too many dials on this one there's just the two on here okay so real quick with the metal detectors i have two of them one that helps you pinpoint where to dig and then the other one is just that little orange handheld wand that helps you pinpoint like okay you've dug a little bit is it still in the hole or is it in the dirt that you've already pulled out of the hole so it kind of like helps you pinpoint like where it's at i'm i'm no expert with uh metal detectors i don't know i just thought i'd pick one up so um with our house being well over 100 years old i thought maybe we might be able to find some cool things i'm gonna guess more than likely we're just gonna find nails and bolts and screws and things but um it, it's nice to have goals and dreams maybe we could find some gold bars that maybe like jesse james buried his treasure out here maybe you don't know. So I'm gonna say that's it for Heather inside and let's send it outside to Heather outside. Take it away, Heather outside. All right guys, here we are, we're outside. Um, it's a little windy. We're out in the area where the ground, we just got, we just cut some trees down. The ground is a little tore up a little bit. Um, so it might be a little bit easier to, um, to dig through because it can get the ground can get kind of hard this time of year anyway my daughter and i were going to start digging we're going to start using the metal detector so um let's get to it and we'll check back and we'll show you everything that we find Like someone was welding and it's like the splatter yeah. like what dad does all right guys so that's it um i'm gonna we're gonna call it a day we've been out here a while just kind of playing around with it um so the things that we found one thing that i showed on camera was that little we went, my daughter went inside and she cleaned it up a little bit and um, ran some water over it and scrubbed it with a scrub brush. It just looks like a, like someone was welding and it's just like my husband's a welder. So that's exactly what this looks like to me. I'm going to ask him if that's what this is, but you know, like if you're welding a lot and you get some liquid metal that drops and clumps and then hardens, that's exactly what this looks like. But I don't, I don't know. I could be wrong. So we found that little clump, put that in my pocket. We found a nail. It doesn't look like a super old nail, um, but it's a nail. I found something. Found this, um, like a bolt. This thing. The heck is this for? I don't know. I asked my husband, I was like, did you lose something off of your equipment? 
He said no, but um, that was packed in the dirt pretty good. I was actually a little worried that we were digging up uh, a cable. I was like, oh boy. But no, it's a, just whatever the heck this thing is, I have no idea, but I found it. So I'm gonna send it back to Heather inside. This is Heather outside, signing out. So um, I don't know too much about metal detectors. I don't really know anything about metal detectors, but basically what we found out about this, um, it's okay. But again, I don't have anything to compare it to. But if you just have like a kid or you're wanting just to get one, just so you can like mess around with it, then get one. Actually, I looked up like, what is a really good metal detector? I just kind of Googled that. And it showed me like the top five or top 10 or something of like the best uh, metal detectors. And they range, you know, like you're gonna get one that's like best value, it's about 200 and some dollars. Um, and then you can get like super nice, you're looking at maybe almost $2,000 or $1,800. So there's a huge range in metal detectors. So I'll leave the link to this Timo one in the description. But if I remember right, it was like $37, maybe 40 bucks for this thing. And I would say it's worth 37 to 40 dollars so you really can't like compare this to like a really high-end metal detector you just kind of gotta review it based on the price you know what i mean like when you go to like the dollar tree and you pick up dollar makeup you really can't compare that to high-end makeup you just have to compare it to is it worth that dollar you know what i mean so is this worth the 37 dollars I think it is probably worth it, um, but that's all you're getting is $37 worth of a metal detector. Um, if you're somebody that's wanting to get into the hobby of doing a metal detector um, and you can't afford it, personally, I think I would go for that one that's like the best value, something good for a beginner. I'll link a few in the description with their prices that I had found. Um, while doing Google searches and do it, reading some reviews and doing a little bit of research. So um, that's my opinion on this metal detector. And then the handheld one, um, which it's downstairs, but I'll insert a picture of what it looks like right here. I forgot to bring it up. That one was, um, it, it works, but it didn't always work. Um, I was messing around with it with getting how close do you gotta be to like a nail and once you start getting to about once you start getting to about this far away it detects it and then once you get a little closer and closer and closer then the beeping starts to get like um faster and faster um it does help you um pinpoint if you've already dug it up or is it still in the hole this was detecting things that were just a few inches um deep we didn't have to dig deep to find anything so i don't know how deep this thing will go um I, I can't imagine it would go very far and, and probably those ones that are a little bit more expensive or a lot more expensive they they can probably detect different types of metals and um, they could probably go a little deeper but anyway I'll link a few options for you in the description um, and then that also with the handheld one a couple of different options for you so um, that's all I know guys. I don't know nothing else but again this is me I'm uneducated in this I'm just reviewing what I bought and it is it a good deal it's fun when you want to go like fart around outside and see what you can find but we just found a few things I am gonna go back out and see what else I can find I'm 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 really I'm I'm uh I'm hopeful I can find um some gold bars to help pay for my Timu addiction right all right guys thank you so much for hanging out with me um it's always fun um hanging out with you guys i have so many more things i have to review um so i'm gonna i had a little issues with getting this video out to you guys i had a lot of audio issues i had 
video or chunk, you know, little clips that got deleted and I had to refilm and it's it's been a lot of fun trying to get this, which I thought would be a quick, simple little video to get it out to you guys. It took me a while. So sorry about that. Hopefully the next one I can get out to you a lot quicker and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.